Let's get right into it. Number 10. The stranger in your voice. When you speak, your voice takes two different paths to your brain. The first path is through the air, just like how everyone else hears you. But your voice also travels through the bones in your skull. These bones act like a natural bass booster, making your voice sound deeper and richer to you. When you record your voice, the microphone only picks up the air-conducted sound. It completely misses out on your skull's private concert. That's why your recorded voice sounds higher and thinner than what you're used to. The craziest part is that this stranger's voice is the voice the rest of the world hears. Your whole life you've been hearing the premium version of your voice while everyone else gets the basic package. So next time you cringe at hearing yourself in a video, remember, you're just finally hearing what you actually sound like to others. Number 9. The Red Eye Effect When a bright flash hits your eyes, it's like shining a flashlight into a cave full of tiny red blood vessels. Your pupils are usually wide in darker settings, trying to let in more light. Then the camera flash hits, and before your eyes can squeeze those pupils shut, that light bounces around inside your eyeball like a pinball machine. All that bouncing light hits the back of your eye, which is basically a red carpet of blood vessels. The light then does a U-turn and shoots straight back into the camera, giving you that possessed by evil spirits look. If you've had a few drinks, you're more likely to get red eye in photos. Alcohol slows down your pupils' reaction time, so they stay wide open like a deer in headlights. People with lighter colored eyes get it worse. Less eye pigment means more light bouncing around like a disco ball. Modern phones try to fix this with pre-flashes, giving your eyes a heads up before the real flash hits. But sometimes they still fail, and you end up looking like you just came from a late-night demon summoning session. Number 8. Cat Purring Cats don't just purr when they're happy. They also purr when they're stressed, injured, or even giving birth. The frequency of a cat's purr is between 25 and 150 hertz. That's the exact same frequency doctors use in therapy to help heal bones and damaged tissues. It's like cats have built-in healing machines. This might explain why cats recover from injuries faster than dogs. They're basically giving themselves vibrational therapy. Even weirder, cats are the only animals that maintain the same purr frequency, whether they're inhaling or exhaling. It's like they've got some kind of internal metronome keeping perfect time. Big cats like lions and tigers can't purr. They can roar, but they lost the ability to purr somewhere along the evolutionary line. Number 7. The Cold Metal Illusion You grab the metal doorknob and that shocking cold feeling jolts you awake. But here's the weird part. That doorknob isn't actually colder than anything else in your house. Your brain is playing tricks on you. When you touch something, your skin isn't really feeling temperature. It's feeling how fast heat is leaving your hand. Your hand is like a tiny heater, always giving off warmth. When you touch metal, it steals that heat super fast. But when you touch wood at the exact same temperature, it's more like a lazy thief taking its time. Try this experiment at home. Put an ice cube on a metal pan and another on a wooden cutting board. The ice cube on metal will melt way faster, even though both surfaces are the same temperature. It's like the metal is playing hot potato with heat passing it around quickly. Wood is more like that friend who takes forever to pass anything. So next time you grab that cold metal doorknob, remember, it's not actually colder. Your hand is just getting robbed of its heat faster than a tourist in a pickpocket convention. Number 6. The Next Day Pizza Effect Ever notice how pizza tastes even better the next day? There's actual science behind why that cold slice from the fridge hits different. When you first eat a fresh pizza, each ingredient is doing its own thing. The cheese is being cheesy. The sauce is being saucy, and everything's kind of singing solo. But leave that pizza overnight, and something magical happens. It's like all the ingredients get together for band practice, and finally learn to play in harmony. The spices and herbs release their flavor oils, which start wandering around like teenagers at a mall. These flavors get into everything. The sauce, the cheese, even the crust. There's this thing called glutamate in the tomatoes and cheese. Glutamate is what makes things taste savory and delicious. As the pizza sits there, enzymes are breaking down proteins into more glutamate. It's like your pizza is secretly leveling up while you sleep. The cheese and crust change too. The fats in the cheese firm up, making it denser and richer when you reheat it. The crust absorbs moisture in just the right way, becoming perfectly chewy. Number 5. The color of pure dark. Close your eyes right now. What do you see? If you're like most people, you're not seeing pure black at all. Instead, you're seeing a weird dark gray color. Scientists call this color Eigengrau, a fancy German term for brain gray. Here's where it gets wild. This gray isn't coming from any actual light. 
your eyes are basically making it up. Even in complete darkness, the cells in your eyes are still firing random signals. It's like your visual system is running on idle, creating static like an old TV with no signal. The craziest part? This gray is actually lighter than the blackest black you see in normal light. Your brain is literally making darkness brighter than it should be. Imagine floating in the darkest void possible, and your brain still refuses to show you true black. Number 4. The Nail's Crescent Moon That little white half-moon shape at the base of your fingernail is called a lunula. The visible part of your nail matrix is like the command center for nail growth. Every single nail cell starts its life in that tiny crescent. Not everyone has visible lunulas on all their fingers. Sometimes they only show up on thumbs, sometimes on all fingers. They tend to be bigger when you're young and shrink as you get older. This tiny moon can actually tell doctors about your health. If it changes color or size dramatically, it might be your body's way of waving a red flag. So next time you're bored, take a look at your own personal set of crescents. You're literally watching your body's growth factory at work. Number 3. The Head Rush Vision when you stand up too fast, about 15% of your blood decides to take a vacation down to your legs. Your brain, which uses 20% of your body's oxygen, starts freaking out. Your body has tiny sensors in your arteries that are like overprotective parents. When they notice the blood pressure drop, they start sending panic signals everywhere. Your heart gets a message saying, emergency, pump faster. Your blood vessels get orders to squeeze tighter. Sometimes these signals are a bit slow like internet lag but in your body. That's when you get that weird dizzy feeling and your vision goes all wonky. Your body is literally rerouting blood flow and adjusting pressure like some kind of biological plumber. Number 2. Why old books smell good? Ever walked into an old library and taken a deep breath? Books are basically time bombs of smell, but in a good way. The paper in books is made from plant stuff like cellulose and lignin. As these materials break down over time, they release different scents. One chemical is similar to what gives vanilla its smell. Another gives off an almond-like scent. It's like each book is slowly cooking up its own unique perfume. Some books spent years in sunny rooms, others in dark basements. All these different conditions create different combinations of smells. Think of it like each book telling its life story through scent. Scientists can actually identify hundreds of different chemicals in old book smell. It's like each book is its own little chemistry lab, slowly mixing up memories. Some perfume companies are even trying to bottle this smell. Imagine wearing Essence of Ancient Library as your signature scent. Number 1. The Little Face Groove That tiny groove right under your nose is called a philtrum, and it's way weirder than you think. This groove is actually a scar from when you were developing as an embryo. Your face didn't just pop into existence looking the way it does now. It actually formed in pieces that had to merge together, like some kind of biological puzzle. The philtrum is where two parts of your face came together and fused. It's like nature's version of a zipper mark. If those pieces don't merge properly, you end up with what doctors call a cleft lip. Humans are some of the only animals that have such a distinct philtrum. Ancient cultures had some wild theories about this groove. Some believed an angel pressed their finger to your lips before birth, making you forget all the secrets of the universe. Scientists still aren't entirely sure why we kept this feature through evolution. That's all for today. I'll be making similar videos in the future. Subscribe to see them.